you know, we don't want to run out of time because we got like one of the biggest unboxings we've ever done. So without further ado, wake them up, wake them up, wake them up. It's the hip hop unboxing, hip hop unboxing, the hip hop museums unboxing. Here we go. Okay, so now that you're completely, completely awake, I want to uh, start with a little act that uh, that I myself used to really like back in the day, and um, I think I know what's in this. I think this is it. Okay, so coming in from Somerville, South Carolina. Somerville, South, South Carolina. Carolina. There's There's been lots of duos in hip-hop that have uh, had notoriety. Uh-huh. Of course, you got uh, Audio 2. You got uh, you got Gangstar. True, right? true. You got uh, MOP. And yep. Right? Got lots of duos. Okay? But there's one duo that really comes to mind when you think about hip hop, and that duo is the one and only kid in play who just last month came Ain't to my Howard type Theater. Of no, that's four force, but it's okay. You tried. Um, it's from the same movie. If if we really had, you know, planned our show, we could have like coordinated the dance and we could have done I, the I, dance I, together. I, I, mm-hmm. yeah, I nominate like, paper cut. You're like not really. Anyways, so uh, this is cool. Let's see. Uh, what? Can it play? I guess we're going to, uh, we'll put it right there. Okay, so kid and play. Original hat, and you know when you see the litter, the little, uh, the little rope around the brim. You know what that means? That's old as shit. Okay, when you see that, because they don't do that on hats anymore. And if you look at our Dougie Fresh sign Not hat, it has that same weird kind of, kind of brim here. So this is an incredibly, uh, incredibly special item right here. Because I think I know what this is, and this one's coming in from Everett, Washington, Washington State. What site? West Side Connection. And the West Side Connection has sent us... Oh, okay, wow. Okay, no, I thought this was something else, but no, this is cool too. So we have the Stop the Violence record. And all of this photography was uh, done by Glenn Friedman. And uh, we think that the the self-destruction Stop the Violence... You know, self-destruction, you're headed for self-destruction. We're really going to try to uh, do something special here with that. And um, let me see here if I can uh, look at this. Look at this picture. Got a young Dougie Fresh with uh, Heavy D. Okay. And uh, let's just grab one more picture out of here. Oh, wow, look at this. KRS One and Public Enemy. And that's Cool Mo D, I believe. So, yeah. That's really great. That's really great. So, uh. All right. We're going to really have to. Uh, one of the things we don't have, you know, that uh, I'm willing to take uh, some input on is uh, we don't have a really good display for all of our classic magazines and whatnot. As I look up and look around the room, we have even a, a excuse me, a Forbes magazine. Your balls are making me burp. Uh, we have a Forbes magazine that's signed by P. Diddy and Jerry Seinfeld. We have uh, a Buster Rhymes signed Source magazine. We have an Ice Cube signed Source magazine. We have a Bun B signed coloring book, a <laughs> rap coloring book. We're going to have to figure out how to display all these items. So, coming in from New York, New York. Oh, okay. Finally. There we go. Coming in from New York, New York. Oh, and randomly, shout out Dave Mays, if Dave Mays is watching. Founder and creator of The Source magazine, Dave Mays, um, and I are talking about some pretty cool stuff. But he and I, we we bumped into each other at the Black Star show backstage. And uh, it was really kind of an epic and special night. And uh, would you believe even Tracy Morgan was there? Yeah. Oh, wow, there he is. Hey, look at that. 
There's Tracy Morgan right next to uh, Most Def. Look at that. There they are, Tracy Morgan. Nice. Good stuff. All right, and here, and here we are. This is the, uh, the unboxing. I purposely Stop got it. this Dr. Dre and Ed Lover record, which Stop I can now it. see is on the uh, infamous uh, label Relativity. Uh, and if anyone's familiar, Relativity birthed the likes of M.O.P. Uh -huh, and Common, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, who were all on that uh, label back in the day. And even, um, I want to say even DJ Honda did a, a couple releases on that. So that's cool. You know, I forgot to uh, I forgot to show y'all something, so I'm gonna quickly show y'all something, um, and I hope you don't mind the smell. I'm gonna take my shoe off. Ah! Oh God! I want to I'm sorry, but look at these uh, look at these exclusive uh, shell toes that I got on right now. Uh, I'm oh, uh, this isn't for the hip hop museum. This is strictly just me bragging. Look at my sneakers. They're fucking dope. That's 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 all I just wanted to show you. All right, let's keep let's keep it going. Um, hmm, this looks really big, but I'm gonna go with this. Oh, nice. So that's uh, Naughty by Nature beat playing in the background, and if you were listening earlier, you heard that uh, Naughty by Nature on June 9th with Big Daddy Kane will be in Lynchburg, Virginia. So go out and check. Uh, Tretch and Vinny and uh, what's the third guy's name? K something? Uh, what K? No, no, no. Uh, not K. I want to say K Death, but I know it's not K Death. The third, there's a third guy. I can't think of his name. He makes the beat. Uh, man. That's going to come at the oddest time. Watch. That's going to come Yeah, can someone audience. in our audience like Google Naughty by Nature's and see the three members? We got uh, we got Tretch, we got Vinny, and who's the third guy? KG. KG. Look at me, I had the K part right. All right. Now listen, you guys. Let me tell you something. Are those These are shell toes. I know. I know. Don't get jealous. Oh so man. Amazing. Look at how amazing these are. Those are dope. Those are dope. So look at that. Coming out of New York City, those are all of the microphones going to the hip-hop cities. Los Angeles, Oakland, Houston, New Orleans, Memphis, St. Louis, Chicago, Detroit, Atlanta, Miami, Philly, Newark, and Boston. That's right. That's right. Adidas don't like is the aware. For some other stuff, but I'll leave that one alone. That's a story of a different tale. Adidas is aware of all of the, you know, influential hip-hop cities. Let me see if... Um, Same thing on the other shoe. Come on in, everybody. Come on in, everybody. Have a seat. Enjoy the show. Come on, sit down and enjoy some of this good unboxing. All right. We're just going to leave that shoe there. Man. All right. Okay. So there you go. One shoe. Those That's are the same cities like. on the other shoe as well? Uh, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Same cities. Okay. So now we did a shoe. Now let's do a record. This is like literally the most, the biggest hip-hop unboxing we've ever done. And if I look like I'm standing at an angle, it's because I only have one shoe on. Oh, man, you know, got to get a longer. We just got to work faster, that's oh, all. Okay, well, you know, I've been collecting these. This is why I got this record. Uh, and Mr. Magic, you know, back in the day on uh, WBLS, Wow. You know, Mr. Mr. Magic rap is really, um, you know, his Rap Attack show is really one of the most influential radio shows of all time, along with maybe Stretch and Bob Beto. So this is volume five. I think we now have volumes one through five. So I've been just collecting these because Mr. Magic's influence on hip hop was really, really severe, like extreme in terms of whatever he spun, whatever he played, you know, was what was popping at the time. And in New York City, I remember clearly, you know, a lot of those, uh, a lot of those shows. In fact, many of us would actually just tape the show on our boom boxes. We would just listen and tape that, and Red Alert and whatnot. Did I mention? Did I mention I'm wearing uh, an MC Shan uh, Puma jacket? Did I mention that? All right, just reminding y'all. 
All right, man. There's a lot of stuff to unbox, and uh, I only have one shoe on. Oh, I'm sorry. This one is coming in from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Shout out to the Super Bowl champs. Also, shout out. Didn't uh, did Philadelphia just get by the who are they playing the Celtics in the playoffs? I think yeah, Philadelphia I think just is. got by uh, the Celtics. Again. They're actually yeah, they're on the roll right you now. You can check that Philadelphia. out for me. I, th- I think they did. Philadelphia is looking good. All of a sudden, I want a cheesesteak now. So you know what's cool about about these. So before Meek Mill got out of jail, he thought it best to send us a gigantic pair of sneakers because that was what's most important to him at this time. And so when he did that, I said, Meek, I said, uh, don't you have other things going on? And he said, no, 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 no. This is what's most important in my life. So um, apparently Meek Mill's a huge Wu-Tang fan. I don't know. This is a stupid joke. I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyways, these are the fucking coolest sneakers, I think, in the whole collection. Black Owl. Yeah. Woo! Tang! Woo! Tang! Woo! Tang! They're definitely rockable. Now, look at this. Look at the tongue. Look at the tongue. Hold on, hold Paper on. Paper cut, I got you hooking those up right there. Because it's the method man of the Wu-Tang Clan. I'm coming for your headpiece projected. So deep, man. Oh. M E T H O T, man. M E T H O T, man. Nice. These are badass. Yellow and green laces. Sweet. Look at that soul. These are amazing. And I gotta say, I don't even like Doc Martens, but these are dope too. I mean, can we zoom in on these? Yeah. Not only that, these are the public enemy Doc Martens. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Fear of a black planet, Doc Martens. That's right. So I'm trying to find another pair of these so I can rock them myself. All right. Okay. We are we are uh, we are coming to a close here. Let me get uh let me get this last pair here. So, you know, our our hip hop museum spans from the beginning of hip hop in 1973 all the way up to the year 2000. Okay, because it's a museum, not a you know, workshop. It's a museum. Uh, you know about all of the uh, classic parts of hip hop that that got us to where we are. Well, one of the people that come in at the very tail end of that, you know, of that time frame, um, who we think had a huge impact on hip hop. Oh, this is coming from Ontario, California, not Ontario, Canada, Ontario, California. Okay. Um, we think this gentleman from Atlanta had a huge effect on hip hop, and, um, and 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 oftentimes he would tell women to move and get out of the way. Apparently, he likes chicken and beer, or waffles and beer. Sorry, bang, bang. chicken and beer. I was right the first time. Uh, he's a radio vet. He's a radio jock. He was on radio for many years. And uh, from what I also understand, this gentleman also likes to drive cars fastly, furiously, and furiously. And fastly, <laughs> fastly and furiously. Okay, so I think these are one of the coolest looking pairs in the entire collection. There you go. The Ludas. And they even come with 
their own little dust ruffle henny bag. This is Velvet. Our producer said, is that Velvet? And I said, yes, this is Velvet. It's delicious and feels lovely. So there you go. Ludacris. Oh, shit. Look at that. How'd I miss that? Look at the back. DTP stands for Disturbing the Peace. So there we go. We got it. We had to have... There you go. Done deal. Oh, man. How did I miss this? All of the laces have gold tips. Isn't that nice? Gold tips. Laces. Okay, wow. Let's, uh... So let's let's go through this all again, okay? Oh, oh my God! What's it forget? I'm still forgetting one giant main item, and it's on our set. And that item is run the jewels. No, I, I, okay. All right. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Ready? Do it. Go. Uh, okay, we'll work on that. <laughs> Inside of this Run the Jewels tin is an exclusive Run the Jewels slip mat. What looks like what? The Deadpool record of something? This is Marvel. I gotta be honest with you, I'm looking at these titles. Uh, this doesn't look like the track list. Oh, call Ticketron? No. Okay, this must be uh, 21 Panther Like a Panther. I mean, this looks like a lot of the songs from their last release. But I gotta be honest, I'm not completely sure. So we're gonna have to do some investigation. I mean, this is the record store day. Huh? This? Maybe, maybe, we, we're trying to, we're hypothesizing as to what this could be, but on the side of the, uh, of the tin, it has a really nice, kind of run the jewels on there, and that's nice. So yeah, that's, that's really quite cool. Really incredible illustration and design. Um, it's one of the greatest parts, in my opinion about Run the Jewels is all of their design is really on 